this is Marcus here. Um, to get into the charts, what I'll be discussing today is, is the market crashing? Are we going to be having another recession? Is this something that's going to be reoccurring when it comes to trading for it, right? I want to really break this down because US 30 fell last week, fell enormously, right? And I really want to break this down in terms of analysis and what to expect, right? So I'm going to be looking at US 30 today, right? I'm going to be looking at US 30. I'm going to be breaking this down on a much, much higher time frame, right? Because we need to look at this not just on the one hour, not just on the daily. We need to actually look at this on the highest time frame possible, right? What I'm going to be looking at is the last recession that we had. This is the last recession right here. The market officially dropped from this high to this low over 7,000 pips, right? And from today, I mean, from last week, we already received close to 5,000 pip of a drop. I really want to break that down to you guys. 5,000 pips, right? I'm sorry, that was incorrect. A 7,500 pip drop, right? That's a 7,500 pip drop. And this... No, I was correct the first time. Yes, so that was a 7,000 pip drop, and this is a 4,000 pip drop, right? So like I said, this is going to be huge. Because we do not, we, we're we expecting a recession. We just never knew when the recession is going to happen. So we're already over, we're already halfway there when it comes to US 30. Or we're already halfway there when it comes to the market crashing, right? And this could be due to the coronavirus. This could be due to, you know, uh, numerous things that's going on in the market, numerous fundamentals, right? But at the end of the day, if we break this down on the technical side, on the technical side, we're really about to have this drop, at least to this trend line. This could be just a monthly pullback, right? This could just be a monthly pullback right here. Because if we really break this down and throw and really draw the technicals, this is an ascending channel right here. So the ascending channel on the monthly, we should already be expecting some form of a pullback, at least to this trend line. And then we'll see if price wants to continue down or if price wants to just shoot up from there, right? We just have to watch price and see. But at the end of the day, this this market crashing, this market falling, I'm sorry, this market falling is really just another form of a monthly pullback, right? So let's go on a week. And excuse me for my, my tone, you guys. I just came back from London, so I got a little bit of a, kind of a little bit of a cold on the way over there. So like I said, this is a ascending channel right here. Right. So on the monthly time frame. So let's break this down even more on the lower time frames. Right. So let's draw this trend line here. Let's draw this up. You see clearly that the, that the market has fully broken the trend line to the downside. So now what we're looking for at this moment is some form of a pullback. Right. We need some form of a pullback up here just to retest this level of res well, was support now resistance, right? That's what we need to test at this moment. We can retest this area and then hopefully get another drop down. Then that would really, really be a nice setup, definitely for the downside. Because at the end of the day, even though we are looking at this like, wow, the recession could be coming, the recession could be coming, but as Forex traders, we're looking at this as a potential opportunity, right? We're looking at this as an opportunity to actually get into a trade, right? But this right here, I'm expecting US 30 to come up and then drop again because all because it's affecting not only the the US, it's affecting the European the uh, the Euro the Euros the European dollar. Because if you look at European uh, Euro USD, you see that we had a huge up on Euro USD. And like I said, I already uh, I'm going to be dropping that video soon. But we already had a huge up move on Euro USD. And which caused also this year, uh, this US 30 to actually drop. So like I said, you guys, this is pretty much the a huge drop right here. I'm expecting a pullback or this could be just a ascending channel dropping to this area right here. It could very well, knowing US 30, just this could be the pullback. You see how you drop, you got to drop here. It could drop right here and then continue up. Right. Knowing how we've been so bullish on you on US 30, 
But me personally, I believe that we might get a might get a huge retest and then get another drop down. Right? At most to this high. We could get it, we could get a retest at any any one of these levels. Right? It could be at this 50 to 61.8 level. Who knows? But the market crashing and how the coronavirus is, is affecting the market, how numerous fundamentals is really affecting everything. We should really be looking at this as an opportunity to sell the market. But we always want to wait for the retest, right? We can look at NAS 100 as well. Every single pair, most of the indices follow each other, right? They, most, they mostly follow each other. And this is why I believe that this might just be a pullback. Because if you look at NAS 100, this could be just a pullback before shooting up. Like this is this looks like a pullback before shooting up. We have a wave, right? Now we all we're all expecting this to actually drop, but this looks like an actual pullback on the daily, on the weekly. Before uh, and then it's just going to continue bullish because look at this. We had a we thought this was going to fall. We thought this was going to fall. We thought this was going to fall, and it did a little bit of dropping, but it still went up and became more bullish, right? So we could expect we could still be expecting some form of a bullish market after this. This could continue being bullish the entire time and continue up. We all know this. We all see this. But look at how impulsive. Look at how impulsive this drop is. Like I explained before, every time it drops, it gets more and more impulsive. So this drop wants to come. This drop wants to come. So we need to expect for this drop. We need to look for this drop so that we can prepare prepare ourselves for what could possibly come. And like I said, this could come up and retest even higher before actually dropping. And I could do this on every single pair. The SPX, uh, if we look on a daily, on the weekly time frame, right? This one actually broke the trend line. So like I said, it even makes it's even more of the analysis that I put. We can expect a retest before actually dropping down. Right? And this could fall all the way down however however long it wants to. Right? Or this could just continue being up and continue being bullish and we just have to move our trend line to here. Right? I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. But because of how impulsive this is, I would just be expecting a retest before dropping again. And it's already giving, it's already slightly giving us this corrective state now. It's starting to move up slowly. You could be expecting this to just move up here before dropping, right? That's what we could be expecting off of these, off of the, off the indices, right? So, you guys, that is my analysis. That's what I think about the whole US 30 dropping. Me personally... I'm just going to be looking for opportunities no matter where the market is going. But I am aware of the fundamentals when it comes to the market. So, like I said, you guys, you guys have an excellent day, excellent trading week. And I'll see you guys next time.